Okay, all right. I've been meaning to do a video on Ape Universe or maybe an update on this uh, for quite some time. So I personally no longer do node projects. However, uh, there was one exception, which was Ape U or Ape Universe. Uh, and again, that's because you know devs are part of the Elite Crypto Discord. In fact, when I first joined, it was just these guys right? and a few others, and that and that was it. So. Long story short, it seems like they're not really following what we discussed in private, so I guess there's some good reasons for that. But with that being said, they're very well aware of what's happening with the universe itself. So I'm going to have to hope that the APU devs, you know, have come up with something else. So that's why we're just going to look at this. Plus, I find I do find this project very memeable and brandable and hilarious. And on top of that, I've just been so pissed off with universe because the dev, like, she just keeps changing shit and keep lowering her rewards and i understand she's doing because she's trying to save the project but it's just so frustrating right it, it's just like you know it's like I, I, it's like a shit project basically so it's like and then she said well now she's saying oh i promise not to change anything for two months you mean it's gonna get worse after two months it's like you know i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one that's pissed about it but you know it is what it is and again it's another reason why I don't like node projects because basically my money is locked in forever. So you can't get out. <laughs> you can you can stake in, you can check in, but you can't check out. You can't stake out. That's basically what these node projects are. But um, you know, hey, what are you gonna do, right? But anyway, I got on the whitelist on this. I I put in my hundred bucks worth of MIM. All right, magic internet money, you know, into APU. So at least, you know, at least this time around, I'll be like getting in on Universe when it first launched, but at the pre-launch price. So anyway, this is a DGen and a project all over Glower facing extinction, and we aim to create a better universe for all apes, built by apes for apes. <laughs> Okay, and then here's a little bit of intro. This is on AVAX, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and NFT Ape earns reward, perpetual reward. So you happen to buy the NFT for Ape Universe. I don't even think Universe has an NFT thing. And then you get like extra rewards. I didn't bother with that. Because I don't really like NFTs. Just buy crypto and then just, you know, do my DeFi thing on it. Burn your coin ability. Instead of sending your coins to the owner of the private when creating a node, it automatically burns everything when you create an ape. Right? So instead of planets, you have apes. Thanks to the invention of Univ, blah blah blah, they play micro initials today, followed by Nurse. Uh, we never directly sell any tokens, I keep the MIM side to fill its respective purposes, it saves a lot of gas for everyone, and doesn't give bearish buyers to the community. Uh, let's see. See, this is the thing, I thought Universe also did manual liquidity rules. But here, they're just saying that instead of like Titano, where everything is automated, here they'll just, uh, they'll only do the cells to replenish liquidity, uh, you know, manually. Innovative buyback and burn. As soon as we start receiving liquidity dedicated to bringing revenue, we'll pull it to work in staking and farms according to our protocols. The rewards generated will only be used to buy progressively APU tokens and burn them from anonymous wallets filed by an announcement after it's done. This way will prevent pump and dumpers from taking advantage of the buyback mechanism and leaving the rewards to the community. Yeah, the one thing about buybacks in general is if you know it's going to happen, like for example, Titano forks, right? And Titano. If you, like I actually said this before too in a video a couple of times. If you know that it's a burn day, that's the best time to sell because you're using the bird buyback mechanism as your exit liquidity for that day. You know, that's technically kind of a problem, but on the other hand, you know, everyone does it. So it's like, whatever, right? So they kind of maybe get around that by just simply, you know, using like different dresses and just don't announce it until after they do it kind of thing. And obviously this is going to be randomized too. So you just don't know when it will happen. Following the steps of our predecessor, Smart Alien, the part of the ape universe, blah, blah, blah. Uh... Okay, so basically it's the exact same as universe. Uh, okay, optimize for performance for the contract. Yep. So the initial supply, even though it says total, is 42 billion ape universe tokens with a launch price of blah blah blah. Almost everything will be put in the liquidity pool, uh, and it will cost you 52,000 ape views to make a uh, ape or a gorilla, I guess I should call it. 
Walls are subject to daily smart limit. You know, I personally think it should be uh, a lot smaller, right? Because it doesn't take much to tank a project. Since the apes are NFTs, you may be able to, oh yeah, so the NFT, so when you make an ape, that's a, no, then when you make a node, that's actually becomes an NFT, so you could trade that if you want. Oh yeah, that's how I can exit uh, Universe, right, if I hate it that much. I have to go on, like, what is it, Tofu or whatever site they link out to and just sell my planet to someone. When you create a node, you lock your token forever. In turn, you receive uh, infinite rewards. Uh, okay. So this thing says 4% daily. I don't know if it's going to remain 4% daily because the Universe right now is only down to, like, 1% daily. Okay. Uh, okay, there's a roadmap if you want to read that. I'm not going to read it. Okay, so compounding your ape gives you extra reward. Am I recording this? Oh, good, I am. God, this would have been so annoying if I forgot the record button. Compounding your ape gives you extra... My stupid camera's blocking you guys. Yeah, you guys can... All right, uh, da, da, da. Compounding is available every 12 hours, so at least they're keeping that. So when you start out with a new chimp called a chimpanzee then you can become a monkey and then after that you become a gibbon i don't i didn't even know that was a thing then you become a bonobo and then an orangutan <laughs> and if you make it all the way through you become a gorilla like a real bona fide gorilla if you claim your rewards oh by the way the whitelist role for ape universe was harambe <laughs> i fucking love that so much <laughs> <laughs> I love I love my title of Harambe. <laughs> if you claim your rewards, you will go back to chimpanzee, but you'll keep everything compounded, blah blah blah. For each tier, uh there's a bonus on top, so it's just like universe. Okay. So here are the limits. Uh they're gonna wait every four hours. Okay, hundred million coming in and out. I don't even know what that means. And then each wallet can only have a maximum of 420 million tokens in a wallet, but the max supply, which is 1% of whatever the supply is. I personally think these these must be much harsher. So, I don't know, man. This being anyway, by the way, I'm quite freely selling, blah, blah, blah. Smart Daily Limits example, I'm not going to read that. Uh, supported protocols, uh, okay. So it's all these guys. All right, so they're basically telling you that when they do start investing the treasury for Ape Universe and this stuff, this is like a, a sample of what they're going to invest in. There's Boo Finance, Reaper Farm, Beefy Finance, of course. There's Terra and Yearn Finance. So that, uh, you know, the project actually makes money like a real company. Uh, okay, and here's the security. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they have some kind of audit. I just don't remember what. And, of course, there's some KYC as well. So, all right, so pretty much everything that we discussed just got kind of thrown out the window or was too hard to calculate. Now, there is a problem where if you make it so that everyone must node in before you can sell, that makes it so that it's impossible to get listed on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. Because, you know, as we already know from Canaverse World, they can't get on CMC because CMC staff cannot sell the token right to get the api going so they're like okay we have to reject your application so i personally would like to actually see some kind of taxation system uh in ape universe because as it is stands right now i mean it's going to if, you're gonna have this they're gonna have the same problem as universe but you know all right well whatever you know you know, it'll probably shoot up initially. I'll be taking profits, of course. And then when all this stuff crashes, I'll buy back. Uh, well, depends on how much I pull up. I'll buy back at the bottom or I'll just keep compounding, right? Uh, north Near the bottom. And then, you know, compound one day, take profit, compound one day, take profit, kind of, that kind of thing. So... Anyway, that's pretty much Ape Universe. I already kind of did my spiel in my last video about like how to do a market fund and stuff. And you know, again, to be honest, I kind of want to manage my you know tomb fork positions right now because I'm really missing out on a lot of money just waiting on you know Pulse DAO to keep producing me more money so I can immediately take that you know basically risk free income and put it into Yield Wolf right there's a project that I'm looking at. I'm also hoping that Pulse DAO is going to be on yield wolf 
you know, pretty quickly, I hope. So, I don't know. I'm just going to have to take a look. Uh, let's see. Wait, this is my positions right now. Yeah, partial finance got hammered pretty hard, too. So, anyway, that's Ape Universe, a node project. Uh, I know, like, if you find a really good one, you can make a lot of money. I personally just can't deal with it because... Again, I can't be in like all these projects micromanaging everything, right? It, it, it's it, I just don't have the time. It's too much work, right? I need everything on Yield Wolf. So, well, with that being said, AP Universe was a project that I've been waiting on for a long time. Everyone in the Elite Discord's been waiting on in a long time. So, just once more for old time's sake, you know, I'll uh, I'll ape. Well, I'm not gonna ape into AP. I'm just gonna I just I'm just I just did the whitelist and that's it. I'm not gonna put in any more. So. And I, I'm basically already retired from launch sniping. So it's like, you know what, you know, just let it ride, you know. I'm more than happy with Yule Wolf and Tomb Forks at the moment, so. Yeah. So anyway, I believe that will be all for today. I'm only doing two videos at a time. Uh, my next content queue. I'm probably going to hold off on Tornado Cash because I, I haven't even had any time to research that. I tell you, that's on Ethereum, so I doubt any of us are going to be using it because unless you're rich or you're, what's his name, Sifu, the guy who scammed everybody in Time Wonderland, I'm pretty sure not a lot of us have any spare cash that we need to use Tornado Cash for. So I got to do a Tomb Fork strategy video, but I've got four more projects. So Pulse Dow, Apex, Kitty Finance, I'm not in that one, and Alpha Nodes Finance, I'm not in that one. Um, I'm only covering Kitty and Alpha Nodes because they apparently are pretty legit and they're, they're doing pretty well. So I need the content and SEO for that. Uh, and then, of course, the fifth project is the one I'm not mentioning, right? Or I hardly mentioned it because I want to keep that profit for myself for a couple days. You know, especially since none of you are probably donating to me anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's kind of what happens. Well, actually, I guess I was still would have kept it to myself anyway, right? I don't know. Well, either way, money's tight for me. Well, it's tight for everyone, right? So, well, that's just how it goes. So, anyway. Uh, okay, so I will probably see you all... What day is tomorrow? Thursday. I don't think there's any launches that I've been watching that are coming out tomorrow. So, I think I'll still have, like, a couple videos out tomorrow. I don't know. I really want to take a... I really want to take a break. Friday is the Aris Pink Sale launch. So, I'm probably not going to do any videos that day. I want not only to take uh, a day off for that, but I also want complete, uh, my time to be completely free to make sure I get in on that pink sale. Right? I already have my one Binance coin lined up and buy that shit up before everybody else does. Because just like Canaverse World said, you know, Eris said, if they hit the hard limit, which is 200 Binance coins, they're basically going to launch pretty much immediately. So, you know, I want to get in on that shit. I, we all missed, or at least most of us, including me, definitely missed out on Titano. So I want to get in on the next freaking Titano, right? Like the, the actual real next Titano fork. So, you know, between Sphere Finance and Eris, you know, I, I don't think I can go wrong. So, uh, but that being said, I'm also hoping that they'll come out Eris Gambit ASAP, right? Otherwise, the project is going to struggle. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. We'll see you all next time, which is most likely tomorrow. And um, yeah, uh, check out Ape Universe. It's actually Apes. What's actually the website link for Apes? Oh, it's apes.money. And all it is is just a, you know, picture of their Discord. They also stole the graphic from Universe 2, I believe. And also the, oh boy. Yeah, so, well, they actually have all these links on the top right, a Twitter, a Telegram, a white paper, and Discord, so, that's really all that there is on here, so, that's what I'll show up, but, yeah. Alright, sounds good. See you all, uh, tomorrow. Thanks. Also, my camera's down there, not in front. Ah, whatever. Close enough. Oh, yeah, like, subscribe, share, and help me grow this channel, because, you know, thanks to everybody who's been subscribing like crazy. Like, this channel is really blowing up. So, um, yeah, I'm very, uh, I'm very uh, grateful and humbled by that, by the way. So, thank you.